What's going on my fellow guitarists? My name is Andrew and this is Andrew Rock Song. Feel my way through darkness Guided by a beating heart I can't tell where to turn but I know where to start So today to start off the four chord category lessons we'll be learning one of the most well-known songs of the 2010s Wake Me Up by Avicii This is an amazing song and in my opinion I love the blend between the folky guitar verses and the upbeat EDM chorus It's a fun song however it's not the easiest song to play as the strumming pattern is quite full on Alright Let's take a closer look at our chords. Something I forgot to mention in the introduction of this song is you'll have to use a capo on the second fret to play this song at the original key. If you don't have a capo, no problem, but you won't be able to play along with the original track. Okay, now onto the chords. The chords we'll be using today in this song are A minor, C, G, and F. If you've gotten how to play them, here's a quick recap. A minor is your first finger on the 1st fret, 2nd string, your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret, 4th string, and your 3rd finger on the 2nd fret, 3rd string. That's A minor. C is your 1st finger on the 1st fret, 2nd string, 2nd finger on the 2nd fret, 4th string, and 3rd finger on the 3rd fret, 5th string. That's C. G is your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret, 5th string, 3rd finger on the 3rd fret 6th string, and pinky finger on the 3rd fret 1st string. That's your G. F is your 1st finger on the 1st fret 1st and 2nd string, 2nd finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string, and 3rd finger on the 3rd fret 4th string. That's your F. Chord transitions are fairly easy in this song. This is because three out of the four chords have an anchor point. What I mean is there's one finger that stays in place in the same place for three of the transitions. Okay, firstly, from going to A minor to F, you move your third finger on you move your third finger onto the third fret and fourth string and simply move your second finger down one string to the first, third string. Then you lay your finger down to hit, you lay your first finger down to hit both the second and first string on the first fret. That's F. From F to C, you straighten your first finger so it's only touching the second string on the first fret. And then simply move both your second and third finger up to the fourth and the 5th string. From C to G, you take your 2nd and 3rd finger and once again move them up to the 5th and 6th string. Then you take your 1st finger off and put, put your pinky down on the 3rd fret 1st string. That's C to G. From G to A minor, you take your 2nd finger and move it down one string to the fourth and then move your third finger to one string below the second finger on the second fret. Finally you take your pinky off and replace it with your, on, with your first finger on the first fret second string. That's your chord transitions for Wake Me Up. Now the chord progression in this song is a little complex. It's a half a bar of A minor half a bar of F, three quarters of a bar for C, and one quarter of a bar for G. It's not that bad, but it takes a while to get used to that fast transition between C and G. I'm going to demonstrate the transitions with a 4-4 starting pattern now. Okay, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. Now you play along with me. I'll start slow and then slowly progress up to full speed so you can play along. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four.
for Wake Me Up. Next, we'll talk about the shine pattern. The shine pattern is quite full on for this song. It gets really fast and you have to be really confident with your chord transitions to play the, f the song at full speed with the proper chord strumming, strumming pattern. I'll demonstrate it with my guitar muted. Okay, three, two, one, go. Down, 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 The strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up. And this counts for half a bar. Let's try it together with our guitars muted. Three, two, one, go. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down. And it gets really fast, but with some practice, you'll be able to nail it. Now, let's try it with the chords. I'll put them on screen as we play. But if, to, but if you've forgotten, it's half a bar of A minor, half a bar of F, three beats of C, and a final beat of G. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. Try to play along. Three, two, one, go. It is a tough one, I won't lie, but it gets better with practice. That's the strumming pattern for Wake Me Up. As always, I recommend you play along with the song to familiarize yourself further with the chord changes and timing of the song. You may not be able to play at full speed, so reduce it to maybe 80 or 90 percent and see how you do. I'll drop a link to the track below. If you would like to have a look at the chord sheets that I have and the lyrics of the song, I will leave a link in the description of the song sheets I have made to accompany this lesson. So that's the Wake Me Up lesson. If you enjoyed, leave a like, and please leave your comments and criticisms down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, guys, peace. It's not my family. G and F. These chords are very often used in. And I don't get too low.